Hey guys, welcome back to a new video of CC Outdoors, and today we got a banger coming at y'all guys. Well, I was uh, scrolling on Timu, and I was looking at like fishing kits and stuff like that, and this one popped up, and I was like, you know what? We're gonna make a video about a Timu fishing kit. Well, first of all, it was like really cheap. It was like I don't know, like five to ten bucks. I can't remember. Came up with a bunch of lures, but uh, I got it here on the four wheeler. I'm gonna show you guys it. Check out this. So it's a 84 piece fishing lure kit. And uh, also a warning, this product could expose you to chemicals including lead. It's nice to know, man. But I bought this off Timu and uh, yeah, let's open it up here. I mean, I see a couple things that looks pretty good for this pond. And by the way, it's like 57 degrees, but hopefully we can catch something. So I only brought the spinner rod because most of these lures are kind of small, but first off, we got these little red crickets little like red swim bait maybe we'll catch something got some little curly tails got a little frog right here okay oh here we got to get old little crawdy here got a couple of these oh no way got like a little fluke here okay okay looks like a whole bunch of spoons looks like uh just some clamps and just some weights and some hooks more spoons and some little wax worms. Yeah, them things are pretty weird. I don't know if we use those. Then we got this uh, little jerk bait here. Not, not too shabby, honestly. And then we got a popper. Hopefully, we can catch a fish in this popper because this popper looks pretty decent. I'm very curious about the hooks, too, because I mean, you never know, man. These things might be dollar and hammer and they might break. So, yeah, that's all the lures, and there's only one thing else we can do. Let's test these lures out right here on this pond. See if we can catch a couple fish and uh, see if it was worth the money. So yeah, let's do it. Okay, let's get it rigged up. I got this uh, little swivel tied on here, so you know, it'd just be easier to switch through all the stuff. But I like how it's a little small kit, so I can kind of keep it in my pocket, you know? Just travel around the pond, see if we can catch something. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. You guys have been crushing it. And uh, we're going to check out the Patreon because I will be starting to post some bonus content on there. But it looks like we got a bunch of stuff. I'm just going to dump this out. You know, there's some, I'm just going to check it out here. I don't know what those red things are for. But it's got some little jigs. We'll just start out with like a little red swim bait on a little, little jig. Get on the hook. All right, there we go. Hopefully, you know, we can get a fish out of it. That's why I brought the spinning rod, because like I said, all this stuff's small, and there ain't no way I'm gonna throw all this stuff on the bait caster, except for maybe, you know, the big baits. That's about it, you know. All right, hopefully we can catch a fish. Cause there's like zero palm pressure here. Cause I mean, just got done freezing. And Oklahoma's weird, you know, it could be like seven degrees one day, 57 the next. Oh, right in the old crappie hole. Get with me. World's worst fisherman here. You can tell it's been a minute. You hate to do it. But we gotta cut the line. Come on now. Well, I didn't catch any fish, so I was just gonna wait till the next day. Day number two. So. Yesterday, I didn't have much luck, but you know what? Give it another try, you know? Add a different one, and I think we'll start out with the top water, because I mean, it's 70 degrees. Hopefully, there's a fish popping on top of the water. I also brought the snake boots, because tell you what, if I was a snake right now, I'd be living it up. I think yesterday, just because it was the first day, kind of, you know, warmish, the fish were just, you know, not really responding to it. Now, it's the second day. Hopefully, we can catch one. Man, I got a massive stick. I guess I can't catch fish, but I can do a verse of the week. This verse of the week's coming out of 
Psalms chapter 119, verse 105. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my feet. So what's that saying is, the Lord's word is guiding you. The lamp is just where you're going. If you believe in God and you trust him with your life, he's going to lead you in the right direction. So all you got to do is give your life to the Lord and serve him and good things will happen. I mean, you might not catch a fish, but hey, at least you're out here having fun, you know? So thank God every day, and it'll lead you in the right direction. Oh my goodness. Day three. I was about to give up on the Timu Fishing Kit Challenge, but then this happened. You got it? You got it? I'm, oh, dude. Are you joking me? How did it not hook it? Bro, oh my goodness, I literally had that fish. Man, that's how you know that plastic and these hooks are on and off the deal. That hook's probably like really dull. This honestly might be the fi my final attempt to catch a bass on these Timu lures. I almost had one yesterday, but here we go. It's like a fifth on, no, fifth try. Second time I've been to this pond, but the water should be warmed out. It's a nice, windy, overcast day. It looks like it's about to storm, so this is pretty key time. But yes. So, I think what we're gonna do is we might just throw some old crawdads first here. Huh. Uh, if I can't catch fish right here, dude, this is it. This is a Hail Mary. This literally will be it. How was it? The video was our team move fishing lures actually good. My opinion, no. It's whatever you want to think. I was just testing them. These things suck. Normally, I would abandon this video because just you know, nothing exciting but i have learned watching kendall gray's videos not catching any fish doesn't mean the video is over you know he might title the video go fishing or something like that in the past some days he might not caught a fish he might use it still as a thumbnail what he usually does is he'll go do something else and we're gonna try that today you know we're gonna go ride this for Honda four-wheeler. We're gonna go do, take it through all the mud I can, go do all the stuff I can to make this video the best video ever. So let's go do it. We got 32% on this battery. That means we got probably about, about 10 minutes of footage, honestly. It's terrible, terrible. But we're gonna go make this the best three minutes of footage on this channel. Some epic riding content. Let's go do it. First of all, Let's hit this right here. This little slope right here. It goes down and we can go back up a little. Woo! It's not my property, so we can't get too wild on that. You know? We're gonna go to my property though. Beep, 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 beep. Check both ways. My worst fear, one of my worst fears, is getting the shed in front of my tire. So hopefully that doesn't happen today. Hopefully we can go do something. So, we're gonna go hit some mud. We're gonna do something today. So, I'm gonna go drop this fishing rod off, and I'm gonna go ride the four wheeler, because there's nothing else to do. Call an Uber? Yes, I did. There's a bunch of perch in there. We were we were gonna go catfishing, and I was supposed to catch fish in this video. But we didn't. But uh, we're gonna go release some fish after we get done riding, so let's get with it. Beep, 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 beep. Yeah, it's gonna get mad because I just peeled out basically in his yard, but this, I'm doing it for y'all guys. I'm doing it for y'all guys.
Dude, this stuff up here is goofy. This right here is just a bunch of like soft stuff. You really can't. You really ain't got enough horsepower to even burn out. So, which that's a good thing. We're not taking it too extreme, you know. It's half my four. Well, you might be wondering, Cece, why did you just come out of the house, dude? Well, I had to charge my GoPro batteries, because I only have two. Well, I have three, but one just stopped working. So I ordered an Enduro battery, because they're supposed to be like the best batteries out there. I don't know why GoPros didn't make them in the first place, but yeah. So we're gonna take all these perks back, all these bluegill. There's a lot of them. I don't know if you can see them all up in there. Man, comment down below if you want me to like go get like a bunch of perch, get like a bass or something like that, or like some bluegill, and put them in like a tub like this, like this big, or get like a big old pool, go set it all the way up there, and uh, like keep fishing there, just like keep feeding them and stuff. Keep like a whole bunch of bluegill, so like if I ever need like some bluegill to go like catfishing, go up there, scoop it out. Uh, 25 likes on this video or something, and it's views. But yeah, this is just turning into a little vlog here. Kind of got to dump this water out. Here we go. Get that all dumped out here. And just dump the rest of it in here. Just like that. There we go. Here's all the old fishies. How am I gonna get this to the pond without spilling? Hopefully we can just set it there in the corner of this. Here. Give me first gear. Give me second actually. I might just have to make a video like trying to restock this pond, like catching like three bass and just like a bunch of bluegill. I think that pool pond deal, pool pond I did was kind of kind of dope. But we're just gonna release them all like right here. Watch them all swim away. Well, can't really see them, but at least we know there's like a lot of bluegill in here that we can catch now for fun. But yeah. Comment down below if you even got some entertainment out of this video. And uh, if you want that Timu kit, shoot, I'll probably send it to you. If you and if you want to make a video about it, you know, gonna expose me saying I can't fish, you know what? I'll, I'll send it to you, you know? Contact me, I guess, at clovercantrell39gmail.com and I'll uh, send it to you. But yeah, thanks for watching CC Outdoors. And uh, I guess I'll, I'll see y'all guys. Oh, goodness. Oh, the next one. Peace.